in this video i teach you the window air conditioning system so that is a different type of air conditioning system window split and centrals okay now in this video i teach you the introductions of window air conditioning systems why its name is window and its component its working and its limitation okay the first i show you the one image is where the window air conditioning is installed so this is the space or it is a unit where the window air conditioning is installed for the it is installed or mounted on the window that's why it is known as the window air conditioner okay because it's required a certain space for the window that's why it is known as the window air conditioning that is a number of component that is a compressor here you seen in this figure that is a total six component that is a air conditioning system refrigeration system four component that is a compressor this part is compressor this is condensers expansion device and evaporators and another two fan one fan is for the condenser and one fan is blower so that is a total six component inside that so here this is the wall because it is installed on the window so the two parts it's divided one is the indoor indoor parts and another is the outdoor parts in the indoor part here it is an evaporators and the evaporator blowers and the expansion device in the outside it is a condenser because condenser is rejecting the heat into atmosphere so it is outside the wall and the evaporator is absorb the heat from the space so it is installed in indoor of the room okay so this part is the our room and this is the outside part of the window okay so first uh, we watch the various components this is the compressors this part is condenser this is the condenser fan then it is the expansion device this is the evaporators and evaporator blower okay so these are the total six components now the room air is supplied into evaporators okay the room air has a higher temperatures and we require to do the cooling of the room so this room air supplied to the evaporators so it is a front part of the evaporator and this air is supplied directly to the evaporators okay and this blower is running that's why it's the suction is takes place on the evaporators this is not naturally supplied this blower is rotated and it's suck the room air and this evaporator have the low temperature refrigerant so that's low temperature refrigerant is absorb the heat from the air and the air temperature is reduced and this air is coming out from this front part of the evaporators okay and this cooled air is supplied to the room then after this high temperature refrigerant is again supplied to the compressors then it is pass into this condensers in the condenser we are rejecting to heat that's why the fan is provided so that the atmospheric air is supplied towards the fan okay so that are transferring the heat and this hot air coming out from the condenser it's supplied to the atmosphere okay so this is the complete workings of the window air conditioning systems so it is also the same part of the refrigeration system but the one fan and the blower is added into the systems so this window air conditioning is used for the cooling of the smaller room and to reduce the temperatures in that uh, the process is done is the cooling and dehumidification process so this atmospheric air sorry room air is supplied onto the evaporator so its cooling and dehumidification is done so this the window air conditioning is control the temperature of the air humidity of the air and velocity of the air and cleanliness because in the front part of this evaporator the filter is provided so it is the remove the dust particles and below the evaporators one tray is putted here to collecting the water droplets from the evaporator coils because the room air has contained the some humidity and this air is condensed on this evaporator coil so water droplet is collected here and it is supplied outside to the system okay so these are the cooling and dehumidification is done on that evaporators and it is used for the cooling of the small room with the less occupants then that have certain disadvantages the first disadvantage is that the compressor is near to the wall so it create the noise inside the rooms second is that it is not a installed inside the room as a decorative purpose because the condenser is with the single units so we are not here completely installed in the room and it's required third is advantage is that it's required the 
certain space onto the window we are need to putting the perfect slot size of the air conditioning system to fit into the window so that's are the three disadvantages of the window air conditioning systems thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like my video subscribe the channels and share with your